My name is Clint Yates. I grew up playing sports and I lived in D.C. where everybody went into politics or in the 80s and 90s when I came up, you got killed for either being involved with drugs, not being involved with drugs, or just being around your friends who all happen to have people that were in violent situations. I made it out, I'm 36 years old now. I honestly never thought I'd be alive this long and I get to talk about sports for a living on TV and on the radio. Made a plan, executed the plan. And that's what you got to do, man. You got to know what you want and go after it. What do you think was the greatest benefit for young men coming here today? Um, you know, that depends on who you are. But I think for a lot of people, it was probably seeing things that they had never seen before in terms of black men and women in positions of leadership and power for companies that they might not have even ever known about uh, in terms of not just specific companies, but fields as well, uh, disciplines or whatever job it may be. But I think a lot of it also was just opportunities to do things. You know, the tie tie, the suits, the haircuts, the recording booth, you know, that sort of stuff matters. I mean, it's easy to look at it on TV and say, sure, I could do that one day, but until you get a chance to actually touch and feel some of those things, as basic as they may be, it isn't necessarily gonna affect your life that much. So I think for some people, it was the concept of seeing people who were successful for other people that was really being able to experience things they'd never done.